All right, let's get back over to Carly Gomez tracking the latest with our weather for the work week. Yeah, it's been a windy day, not quite as bad as we anticipated, but it's not over just yet. It looks like some of the stronger winds may actually be tomorrow, as we'll see the wind advisory continuing for your Tuesday. That's going to create some very high pollen counts for us, not just today and tomorrow, Actually, for the next five days, because you have that pollen floating around in the air still, it's still out and about, so that's really going to affect you. You're going to want to take your medication over the, count, over the counter pills if you need that. Otherwise, stay indoors. You can always make sure you uh, shower when you get home, get it all out of your hair, off your skin. That'll also be helpful. Gradually warmer temperatures in the mid 80s will arrive Wednesday into Thursday. And allergy season, this is when we start to see the trees in March start to uh, really bring that pollen out. Then by May, we see the grass, the weeds affect us in July, and then the ragweed. That is in late August. So now you know what you can anticipate for the next coming months. The wind advisory in effect from Redding all the way down through Sacramento areas of the San Joaquin Valley and around San Francisco will see things starting to pick up again for your Tuesday. It will start to slow down just in the overnight hours and take a look at this. As we start to see the slowdown happen in the valley, we can start anticipating it picking up for some areas, especially like the coastal range, as we start moving in through the overnight hours and for some areas of the high Sierra. Now moving into your Tuesday, you're looking at lunchtime You'll see uh, some of these as high as 30 mile per hour winds in Fairfield, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds through the valley, and then starting to ease up as we get into the afternoon and evening hours, 8:30 p.m. Still a little windy, but finally it goes away as we start moving toward Wednesday. And actually, it's going to start getting warmer. We have a high pressure system offshore, low pressure system to the east. That's starting to help funnel in some of the winds for the valley spots in the high Sierra areas, the strongest of the winds in the gusts through the coastal range and for the high Sierra. We're looking at clear skies. So it's beautiful, it's dry, it's sunny. It's just very windy right now with that system moving overhead further north. We'll get a few clouds rolling in, partly cloudy skies as we start approaching the weekend on Saturday. And then here we go. Finally, we may actually see some rain in the forecast as we start moving from Monday and into Tuesday. So we'll anticipate that, hoping we actually get some of that rain because we still need it. Mid-70s uh, there for Jackson, Placerville, Sonora. Low 70s, 77 in Ione as we start moving through the foothills here for your Tuesday. And then areas of Truckee, South Lake Tahoe, low 50s. Let's take a look at the Tahoe area getting into the 60s Thursday and Friday. So maybe a little slushy out there on the slopes. Be careful for that. Upper 50s on Saturday and sunshine. Now the Bay Area looking at even temperatures near 80 tomorrow in Vallejo and Napa. Fairfield 81 possibly. Upper 70s and low 80s for the San Joaquin Valley. And in the Sacramento area, we're all also going to be approaching almost 80 degrees for your Tuesday and again the wind so that is a little dangerous you're coupling the humidity here the strong winds and some of the warmer temperatures you want to be careful for any fires that may break out mid 80s Thursday low 80s into the weekend by next week you are looking at temperatures right back into the upper 60s